Okay. I think siguro pwede na tayo oh, magsimula. It's now 8.08 na. Kasi okay. kami, nagtapos kami 8.45 kanina. Okay. I think we can start now. A wonderful evening to all PBAID members from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. I am very excited to impart new things for tonight's discussion in our drug-free Philippines movement. I'm your host in our tonight's discussion. My name is Mark Adilit, PVAID Vice President for Visayas. Before we start, I would like to acknowledge our partners. Please watch for a short video presentation. tonight is it's okay not to be okay and to to conquer fear anxiety and depression our guests and co-hosts are miss k soriano santa cruz and mr mark anthony tantonko miss k soriano santa cruz is a professor by profession certified life and career coach certified in cognitive behavior therapy 
motivational speaker on the growth mindset and resilience. And now may I introduce you to Miss Kay Soriano Santa Cruz. Ma'am, would you please introduce yourself? Yes. Hello, good evening, everyone. I'm so happy to be with you this evening. I didn't expect this many people, so I'm very happy to see all your faces. I understand no ibat ibang parte ng Pilipinas tayo ng gagaling ngayon, so I'm so excited to talk to you this evening. I'm I'm going to talk about myself a little bit when I do my presentation, so I think that's enough for that. Mark, is that okay? Okay. Okay. Nakakalito no dalawang Mark, pero yes, Mark the host. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, our our uh, our next uh, guest and co-host. Uh, also, please welcome Mr. Mark Anthony Tantongko, a multi-awarded uh, manager, HIV motivational speaker, and co-owner of Mighty Cigarette Corporation and La Campana Fabrica de Tobacco's incorporated and now may introduce you to mr mark anthony tantonko sir would you please introduce yourself go ahead sir hello good evening thank you for that um uh, sir mark um uh, it's a warm welcome uh, yung ginawa mo. and i am very thankful for being part tonight i just want to um share a bit of myself i'm uh I'm uh, like everyone else, a normal person, however, with a dream. And my background talks about uh, me being a leader and how I was able to be a leader coming from my struggles in HIV. So that's all. Uh, continue ko na lang yung background later on as I speak. Thank you. Okay. These guys will discuss how to overcome drug addiction, depression in times of pandemic, HIV awareness and how to be productive in our society. First of all, I would like to discuss what we do in our organization. Vision, a drug resistant and drug free society through an empowered citizenry. Mission, to conduct people empowerment activities and enhance the drug demand reduction approach through preventive education and values formation in every barangay in order to increase the psychosocial awareness about the ill effects of illegal drugs and substance abuse and its effect to society. Please take note, we are different from the supply reduction strategy of the government, which is war on drugs. We promote social awareness through basic education and literacy program, livelihood, youth program, and sports, public image, and interagency collaboration. We will leave drug supply reduction to the law enforcement of the government. Our discussion is related to our current situation here, here in our, our country. That is why we should address these issues tonight together with our guest speakers and co host in our program in Drug Free Philippines Movement. According to Wikipedia, a free encyclopedia, HIV and AIDS infection in the Philippines might be low but growing fast. The Philippines has one of the lowest rates of infection yet, has one of the fastest growing number of cases worldwide. The Philippines is one of the seven countries with growing in numbers of cases. The HIV crisis in the Philippines is an emergency. Youth education empowerment of healthcare providers national access to PrEP and integrase inhibitors and harm reduction are urgently needed. Several factors put the Philippines in danger of broader HIV AIDS pandemic. They include increasing population mobility within outside of the Philippines island, adverse to public discussing issues of sexual nature, rising level of sex work, casual sex, and safe sex and injecting drug use. In fighting against HIV is to promote safe sex and also as dangerous when using drugs by injecting. And according to the new study of the United Nations Agency on Drug Control, the number of HIV positive by injecting drugs is increasing. A shoot of ecstasy or shabu 
could well be the sh the the shot the shot of death unless drug users don't even know that these needles could have give hiv drug users usually share needles a very high risk transmitter of hiv in a new study in the un has revealed that most drug users also have very erratic and usually unsafe sexual habits in fact among women drug addicts some even turn to the sex trade to fund their drug habit while most drug addicts have more than one sexual partner and some don't ever use a condom with their partners many also admitted to use using drugs just before or after sex so many drug use study have exhibited both injection related risk behavior as well as sexual behavior linked to hiv transmitted infection may nagtatanong kung license or accredited accredited ba yung mga speakers natin sa mga government agencies or may mga karatula ba sila na professional speakers ho ba sila uh, kung baga sometimes uh, may mga nagtatanong talaga about sa mga speakers natin yung mga speakers natin kasi based on a true to life story at experience po nila sa totoong buhay at it it needs courage to tell the ordeal that they went through but for the sake of the demand or the need to speak up bravely for the filipino people and for the country nothing will hold them back to share their life stories and give motivation and education to us here in our program drug free philippines movement guys this is the moment that we have been waiting for let us hear the life testimony of our guest and co-host may we first call on to mr mark anthony tantonko sir the floor the floor is yours thank you very much so good evening everyone um so i'd like to start um with how i move my life from day to day and um i would like to share the how empowered how empowered i am with the verse i can do all things through christ who strengthens me philippians 4 13. why um before i go to my story i'd like to introduce uh, to you guys where i am today and how i would want my life to move forward um, currently, I am a branch manager for FWD Insurance. Also, I am an associate director for Greenfield. Um, before that, I was uh, part of FWD. I was also part of AXA as branch manager for two years. Before that, um, I was part with Sun Life. Um, Sun Life, ako tala, eh, parang all my life, I thought hindi na ako aadis sa Sun Life. Um, for six years, um, I was a uh, top rookie in 2011. Kaso nung, when I got my AAA manager title, and my team was already growing so fast, that's also the same time that I was put into rehab for drug use. So go going uh, through my story, I would like to start my story with my struggles. But more than any credentials that I see, more than the title that I have, I know that um, our lives, my life, has a purpose for everything. And God has a purpose, indeed, has a great purpose why I am here with you today and why I am able to, to be able to share my story. And my story was just empowered with God. Um, back in the days in 2009, um, I am unaware of what is HIV. Also in those times, mataas din ang death rate ng Philippines pagdating sa HIV. To connect to what I am trying to say, two of my closest friends, a year after my diagnosis, died. Um, considering lahat kami is already at the known hospital, I was confined with St. Luke's. I was given actually three months of uh, tanning by the infectious disease. Na hindi na daw ako tatagal more than three months because of the condition of my health during that time. Two of my friends, yung isa sa Makati Med na matay, yung isa sa Medical City na matay. My point there is it's not about the, the the hospital it's not about the credentials of the doctors because during that time the awareness of the doctors even those medical practitioners are not fully aware of how to handle hiv cases so i don't blame them and i don't blame anyone it's just that um 
right now I am very thankful that there are a lot of movements going on to help people like us. And um, yeah, kanina when um, Sir Mark is sharing about uh, drug use and HIV, natatawa ako deep inside kasi sabi ko parang yun yung mga mundong pinagagalawan ko nun. <laughs> Wherein, uh, yeah, the drugs and the user, uh, yeah, having HIV was do coinciding. Pero yeah, um, in, in defense to my case, <laughs> um, wala naman ako nahawa. Well, because I am already undetectable 2011 until present. So even those that, I, uh, that are known to me until now uh, are still friends with me. Some of them are still under my team. And yeah, um, it is just to boost the encouragement that once a person is already with HIV, it doesn't mean it's a, it's a death sentence. But during the time, when I was confined in St. Luke's, um, I was there for three months. Um, prayer ko lang noon, Lord, makahinga lang ako, masaya na ako. Um, but there is, um, syempre, sinabi sa akin ng doctor, hindi ko kasi alam kung ano yung sinasabi niya ang HIV, so oo lang ako ng oo. Nag-google pa ako bago ko nalaman, ayun ah, pala yun. <laughs> Pero during that time, of course, nag, uh, nag-rush lahat ng emotions na hindi ko alam kung ano yung nangyayari sa akin, what so what not. Kasi nga, the doctor back then was, yeah, just giving you info, pero hindi siya yung current ano, HIV awareness na mga nasa clinics ngayon na binibigyan ka ng awareness, paano mo dapat maintindihan yung sitwasyon mo. Dahil nga infectious disease doctor lang siya, sitabi lang niya sa akin yung info. Tapos bahala ka na sa buhay mo. <laughs> pero yun nga, um, during the time when I was almost lost of hope, I am uh, actually in a conservative Chinese family, meaning my dad, my mom, we as a family, we don't really talk much. Not unless we are going to talk about something that is fruitful. Pag hindi yan maganda, hindi yan napag-uusapan. That's why the struggle for me in recovering with drug use took so long kasi nga, I wasn't aware that I need to relate to someone to understand how to recover. So going back uh, during the time, what actually enabled me to stand was dahil nga hindi kami nag-uusap ng dad ko, pero during the time, it's the first year na nawala, <coughs> sorry, na nawala sa, sa utang yung family. Kasi nga parang all, all year round, parang my parents are, are, are borrowing money here and there just for us to finish our education. But during that year, natapos that yun. However, in the same year, nagkaroon naman ako ng sakit. Tapos three months na hindi pa ako maalis ng hospital. Sabi ko, Lord, wala na kami utang pero parang ako pa magbibigay ng utang. <laughs> Kasi nga, tumataas yung bill as I am extended there. So, but then again, um, yung nalaman ng parents to about my case, my dad hugged me, whispered to my ears one message. And that message is, Mawala na lahat na meron tayo, gumaling na lahat. Sabi ko, Lord, if my father on earth could love me this way, I'm sure that my life will not end today. Sabi ko, hindi pa ako nakatapos mag-aral, hindi pa ako nakagraduate sa Papua, wala pa ako napapatunayan, tapos mapapatay na ako. Sabi ko during the time, hindi ko alam if spirituality is true, or how true really is it that there is nothing impossible. But then again, Sabiko, like how I have learned that in a small seed of mustard of faith, it could move out. Sabiko, let me lead me to how you want me to be. Truth be told, natagalan man yung recovery ko with HIV, with pneumonia, during the time I had pneumonia, it took me eight months para matanggal ang oxygen tank sa akin. After that eight months, syempre para ayoko lumabas, ayoko mag, uh, magpakita sa tao. So lahat ng friends ko from high school, ma- from, from, from Mapua, which where I studied my college, lahat parang tinanggal ko sa system ko. Kasi nga parang I was shameful, I don't know who I'm to talk to. So these two closest friends of mine, sila na lang yun parang nakakausap ko. Pero during the time, hindi ko rin masabi sa kanila that I, I, I undergone a treatment with pneumonia because of HIV. Kasi nga, 
hindi, hindi rin ako sanay. Hindi rin kasi naman siya napag-uusapan eh. 2011, by the way, was um, uh, when Love Yourself was established. That was the same year when um, ABS-CBN, January of that year, aired that the, uh, that the HIV case for the Philippines is alarming and is writing, rising so fast. Kasi nga, pero during that time, in, the, in 2010, when two of my closest friends died, sabi ko, ano na gagawin ko sa buhay ko? Wala na akong kaibigan. <laughs> Tapos hindi ko pa alam, wala pa ako natapos sa education. But then again, my, my parents are very supportive to simply push me forward na do something. Because at the end of the day, you can only see the fruit of your labor if you started doing something about what you who you are and what God has given you as a life. So I tried uh, doing what um, sales kasi nga ayaw ng parents ko maging employee ako. <laughs> ayaw ko rin naman masayang yung puhunan nila kung mag, uh, mag-franchise kasi hindi, hindi ko rin naman alam how a business really works. Um, but then again, yung nag-sales ako, sabi ko hindi ata ito para sa akin. I, I was actually in that time um, a person that hates people. I hate conversing people, to people. I hate um, people-related things. Kasi sabi ko, ang gulo-gulo ng tao. Hindi mo maintindihan kung masaya manungkot, mamaya, bukas, kailan na ano na yung magiging attitude niya sa'yo. So, dahil nga, there's a lot of things na hindi ko naiintindihan, I ought not to. But then again, God is so good to simply what uh, lead us to things that we are unaware that we can be good at. And yeah, um, for that same year that I got the that my goal in, in my sales is actually one thing. And that one thing is, hindi ko man natulungan yung mga kaibigan ko noon. That's why I want to help others see the fruit of life. That there is hope in every possibility. Sabi ko, hindi ko na nakita paano sila na matay kasi natatakot din ako no, na baka mahawa pa ako o magkasakit din ako na nasa hospital sila. Pero ito na lang yung isang regalong mabibigay ko, hindi lang sa kanila, pati pa sa mga susunod. That's why when I started with Sun Life, my, my, my motto was changing lives one at a time. Sabi ko, pero Lord, sabi ko, hindi naman ako makaka-change ng life kung nagbibigay lang ako ng insurance to. <laughs> pero hindi ko alam, uh, uh, from the time on until today, my desire for insurance to is not to sell people insurance. It's not to tell people you need to get an insurance. Kasi nga bakit? What is the teaching of the world in terms of insurance giving? It's all about fear. Tatakutin mo ang tao, ito trouble mo ang utak niya, kaya nga ang discussion lagi is what if you die too soon or you live too long? Sabi ko hindi naman ata dapat tinatakot ang tao. <laughs> kasi syempre pag tinakot ang tao, kumuha sila ng policy, kumuha lang sila para doon sa porsyento na ikamamatay nila, sabi ko, I want people to get something out of love. Because I see that my life was founded out of love. Sabi ko, that's why I was able to translate the understanding of need into the understanding of want. By simply telling a short script, a short story for people to hear how to really feel what is love. And if you will allow me, this is just three minutes, but I would be sharing you, sharing to you guys, why I was tagged as the most brilliant branch manager of AXA during my time with AXA. Is it okay? Raise hand naman dyan. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. Um, so if I am to start, of course, I know that you are all familiar with ICU, with the current case that we currently have with the pandemic. ICU intensive care unit and According to rules and regulation of every hospital all over the world, there's only one person at a time as a visitor that can go in. Now, the questions that I'm going to be asking next, usually I would want people to internalize more than respond to it. So it's okay na nagsusong tayo. So if I'm to begin, and I want you to imagine that day and that time that you are to be in that ICU bed, who could be the first person that you could think of that will walk in that room? Is it not? This is the first person that loves you the most. And I hope that you love the person the same. Now, what could be the words that you are prepared to say? Will it be, I am sorry, because with this and every other little thing that I have lost to see while I am alive, sana mo unawaan mo makita naman kita. Or would you rather have words that don't worry? 
I have everything planned and I have even more. For apart from telling you I love you, I want to thank you. To thank you for the gift that you have given me and that is how you believe that I am special. Sa mga oras na niniwala ka na pinaglaban mo ang buhay kong ito, sa mga oras na sinabi mo kaya mo yan na hindi ko na nga sinabi mo kaya ko, pero dahil sa mga mata mo na nakita ako na may pag-asa ang buhay kong ito. At kung ano man ang narating ko, ito ay isang pasasalamat. Isang pasasalamat na nabuhay ka kasama ng buhay ko. Dahil I couldn't really pay my life any beautiful than how you have given it more meaning. And if I am to what, tell you how I have gotten the insurance at that moment in time, I write it for a purpose that on my mind, I want it to be a continuity of my dream to the person that I love, whom loved me in the same. And that dream simply is, as you are to be a channel of blessings, I want everyone to know that you were first a gift to me. And if I am to define life insurance, could have been a money for someone someday, for someone like you, there to give the understanding of love and was willing to put it in writing right away. That's why the communication of love for me today, I pinili ko sa mga oras na to, pinili kong mahalin ka ngayon at hindi ko na pinagbukas to. So that's all. Well, that is the, the script wherein I created in, in when I was in Sun Life, recovering from drugs, recovering from HIV, connecting every facets that I know, the struggles, the journey, and the desire, the desire to simply be connected with people out of love, not out of need. So, yeah, yun din kasi, yun nakita ko with drugs. Sabi ko, it is some um, understanding for people, not only me, but those others that is pleasurable because of the dopamine spike of whatever scientific term. Pero dahil niya pleasurable siya, there's the understanding of want. So sabi ko, in order to really overcome it, it's not to take away people that I know. It's not a, to take away the environment where I am in. Kasi it's like running away. Eh. Para at the end of it, parang sasabihin ko lagi sa sarili ko na para buhay ko yan eh. Sino yung nakasama ko eh. Para kung sinabi who you sa mga taong kaibigan ko na. Pero sabi ko, meron siguro mas magandang paraan. Sabi ko, if that is something that is wanted, I'm sure that I could have wanted more for something else. So right now, I am actually looking at things that actually develops the desire for how to find myself, to want myself even more. Like working out, like um, establishing career, like um, doing, doing this kind of ministry or sharing to people that are already under the struggle. Because if I sabi ko, for me, if my life hasn't ended or if the journey is not yet um, beautiful, I'm sure that God has his own way of leading me there. Hindi pa kasi tapos ang buhay, di ba? Para a testimony is only shared when the journey has already its beginning. And, and so sabi ko, why would I share something if eh, para anong gagawin ng isang tao pag hindi siya nandoon pa sa end? Kaya eh, para magmumukmuk ba siya? So, sabi, uh, parang will, 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 will there be any condemnation? Well, I, I, I guess that there should not be because how can we go to that end if our, our journey to that end is a struggle? I'm sure that um, sabi ko nga, in every encounter that I have, it's a test of character. Sabi ko, um, kasi nga, syempre, parang um, being exposed to drugs also exposed my, my, my certain characteristics to be um, unstable. Pero yun na nga, because my heart is always to connect more than to correct, to complete more than to compete. That's why in that journey, I was able to find the value of the people that I'm with. Sabi ko, isa sa mga bagay na mali na ginawa ko in my struggles was to define something as wrong. Kasi sabi ko, when I am looking at something as wrong, lahat ng nakasama ko mali, lahat ng ginagawa ko mali, pati yung, yung pagbibigay ng halaga dun sa nakasalamuha ko, naging mali. Yung tao naging mali. So lahat ng gagawin niya para sa akin, naging mali. I will always be defensive in a way that I will not see the fruit of our 
to get togetherness of our being uh, of the time that we have. And sabi ko, why not look at it as something? Something that I have done and something that also would not help me be better, but I should also see that this is something that I am in that I could also help others who is of the same journey. Because hindi naman lahat ng tao are willing or willing to see that they are on a struggle. Lahat ng mga tao usually comes first in denial. Na hindi kaya ko to, na malalagpasag ko to, I am better than this, I am controlling this. Pero sila rin yung mga tao nakita ko na because of that personal denial, they were indecisive already in their life. Indecisive of their choice, indecisive of what they are, of how they would be looking at themselves, if they are good people or not. Yung parang nawawala yung sense of identity because nawawala yung sense of pride to simply look at myself that I am also loved. Loved in a way not because of what I am able to do, but because I was born. So ko ma, um, the beauty of the message of love was, was simply given because of a life and that life was given a name. And that's why, sabi ko, I am very thankful that this opportunity came, not only for me, but for also for others. Kasi nga parang, um, kung tutusin, di ba, parang, temptations are everywhere. And whether or not that I say that I am in recovery right now, that I am not using today, that as you can see, I am very sober. But of course, I couldn't tell when and what time and what day will there be another event. But if there's one thing that I could share, and that is, sabi ko, Lord, totoo nga yung sinabi mo, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Because, para. So, titignan kong buhay ko, I was put into rehab four years ago. I was actually the worst when I came out of rehab because of a lot of family issues. My, my struggle with family, they, they were, my, my family almost uh, disowned me during that same year that my dad died because of pancreatic cancer, because of a message na bading ka kasi. Nagpatawag pa ng mga pastor sa bahay Ginagay ako sa gitna, inanil nila ako kung ano daw problema sa akin. Sabi ko, shit, hindi lang pala drugs. <laughs> Pati pa yung pagkatao ko, mali. Pero parang sabi ko, natanggal na yung source of income. para tinatanggalan pa ako ng saisay, bakit mabuhay? Pero sabi ko, Lord, sa journey na to, ikaw na lang kasama ko eh. Hindi ko na alam kung yung pamilya ko is for me or against me. Pero true time, God is so good. We, we healed this one as family. Um, they began to understand me slowly. I was able to be able to speak out to myself and to them because, yes, I was a leader to many, but how I speak to them that you hear, this is something that they don't know of because for them, they see me as a person na sinaya ko kung ano meron ako. And I, in time na meron ako, I wasn't able to share it with them because they were always nitpicking kung ano yung mga mali ko. Kaya nga sabi ko, yung mga struggle ko sa buhay became a message not only for the people that I am with, but I wanted to be a message for everyone. That we could inspire each other for the possibilities, not for what they have done. Not for who they are, not for what they are today, but for what they are to become. Because yun din yung naka, nagbibigay sa akin ng hope, ng faith. It's a journey of the end. That this life doesn't talk about wealth. Kasi sabi ko, during the time that I was in Sun Life, I was earning 500 to a million a month. Ngayon na saan na lahat. Sabi ko, kung mababago ko yung principle of what is life simply because by telling people more than having something that is tangible have you forgotten that you, we are someone valuable simply because we are children of god so that's all and thank you for listening
Okay. Uh, that was a wonderful, inspiring story from Mark Anthony Tantonko. By the way, Mark Anthony Tantonko is a good friend of mine. Anyway, uh, may we call on our next speaker, Professor Ms. K. Soriano Santa Cruz. You may now start, Madam. Thank you. You don't have to be so formal. You may call me K, no problem. You okay. know, I think I just, uh, I don't know how much time I have, Mark. Do I have 15 minutes, 10 okay, minutes? Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I think I want to take off from where Mark said we are all connected, right? There is a purpose why everyone is here. There is a reason why you are volunteering for this very worthy cause. And in my work as a coach, what I have seen, lahat tayo may journey. Lahat tayo may silbe. And it doesn't mean, kung hindi mo nakikita ngayon, hindi lalabas, hindi mo malalaman. It just means it's not yet time. Lahat ng nakakausap ko, and I have coaches from the Philippines and abroad, different countries in Asia, and even in the US and Canada. Lahat tayo, one thing, you know, a lot of things in it, different, no? Pero lahat tayo may kinakatakutan. Lahat tayo may pangarap. Maybe hindi pa very solid, very clear, pero lahat tayo may gusto sa buhay. And in general, we all want good lives. I want to share um, my slides. Is that okay, Mark? Okay, po. Kaya, sure, sure. Yeah, kaya lang naka okay. ko. Can you make me co-host? Okay. Okay Thank, na po. Go Thank you very much. In the interest of time, I'm just going to talk through the slides para, you know, mas, ma, mas magandang usapan. Can you see it, Mark? Okay po, okay po. Klaro lang po. Okay. okay. Thank you, thank you. So my background is really in corporate. I was with a, with a company for 25 years. 12 years of that, I was in Singapore. I came back in 2018, December of 2018. Sabi ko nung nasa Singapore ako, ang galing-galing ng Pilipino. Pero madami akong experience na ang Pilipino, pag kinakausap ng foreigner, may tendency na hindi nagsasalita. You know, I graduated with a degree in communication arts. And so what I thought was maybe God wants me to help more Filipinos talk. Because in my career, that's one of those things that I really saw help me, no? So I did a lot of things and I eventually came back to the Philippines. And when I landed back here in December 2018, I put together my company, Navigating Careers, for the purpose of helping even one person meet their goals. Madami sa atin gusto na mabuting buhay pero hindi klaro kung ano yung klasing buhay na yon and as a coach that is one of those things that I help people with right kasi ang problema na ngayon lalo na ang kabataan na la laging nasa social media ang tingin nila ang kaligayahan nila ay pareho rin dun sa nakikita nila sa iba you have to be able to know kung sino ka para malaman mo kung anong gusto mo sa buhay. Eventually, that's what I did. No? So I was invited to give talks. These are some of the people that I did online and on the ground before the pandemic. I'm sorry, I, I think my, my, my screen is uh, writing on the wall. Now. But anyway, I did individual and group coaching. And as I mentioned, I have um, folks abroad also. I'm not sure how to remove the squiggles there, but I don't know, Mark, if you can help me with that. Anyway, I also did some art therapy because hindi lahat ng tao gustong nagsasalita. A lot of times, pictures, you know, and in drug rehabilitation, I think there are some art concepts also for drug rehab, no? But essentially, art is there to help people express themselves. So nung bata ako, nung bata ako, high school ako, I would go to my um my my friend's house. Yung mom ng friend ko, meron siyang posters all over the place. Yung posters na to, very inspirational. And one of them, 
was in the banyo, was in the bathroom. Every time naguhugas ako ng kamay bago kumain, nababasa ko siya. This is the one I kept on seeing. Watch your thoughts. Yung mga iniisip natin form our words. What we say form our actions. And when we do something repeatedly, it becomes a habit. Our habits form our character. And isn't it interesting that it all starts with what you're thinking? So be careful. Guard your thoughts. Ano bang pumapasok sa isipan natin? Saan natin kinukuha ang mga pumapasok sa isipan natin? So that kind of brought me to this whole idea of looking at the growth mindset. No? What is the growth mindset? Can you give me, can you chat with me? Can you drop me a one if you've heard of the growth mindset? And can you give me a two if you have not heard of it? One if you have heard of it and two if you have not heard of it. Interesting. Okay, some more. All right. So a lot of us have not heard of it, no? The growth mindset. Ano ba to? You know, the growth mindset is a very interesting uh, concept. And I really hope, Mark, we can remove this scribble on the board, no? On, on our screen. I'm not sure how to do it. Does anybody? I'm not sure how to remove it. I am sorry, but I'm going to have to continue because I know it. We don't have much time, no? So the growth mindset. Hold on a second. Parang maandaring slides. The growth mindset is simply the idea that kahit na ilang taon ka na, you can learn something new. Itong slide na to is very, very technical, right? But what it's really saying is that so long as you are living, as long as you are clear on what you want to do, you can actually learn it and teach yourself how to do it. The growth mindset is based on neuroplasticity. Pasensya na, another technical term. But scientists have discovered that when we learn something new, there are new connections that happen in our brain. So, ano yung sinasabi nila? Pwede mo bang turuan yan? Ang tanda-tanda na? Ang sagot doon, pwede. Hindi madali, pero pwede. Let's move on, no? I have here a slide that has a few bullets. And on your own, wherever you are, look through them. How many of these can you relate to? Ilan ba dito ang tingin nyo kayo? Do you avoid challenges? Pag meron bang challenges, nagigive up na lang kayo ng basta. Pag meron bang tao na gustong magsabi ng feedback sa inyo, medyo hesitant ba kayo dahil feeling nyo, nako, accusatory yan or I will be offended. No? I know, I know, Mickey, there is a pen icon. Click on, okay, then a menu will show up. Then select the eraser icon. Mickey, thank you. There is a pen icon, pen icon daw, okay, click on it, and then a menu will show up, then select the eraser icon. Okay, is this the one, Mickey? Yay, Mickey saves the day. Thank you, Mickey. Good job. So anyway, right, going back to our slide, look through the choices. Ilan dito ang tingin nyo kayo? Look at this next slide. Okay, wait, Mickey. I have to remove the eraser na naman, no? All right. Okay, okay, wait, mouse, okay. All right, this next slide shows you a few more choices. Are you somebody who embraces challenges? Are you somebody who learns from feedback? And are you somebody who believes you can learn more if you work on it? Right? These two slides give you an idea of how fixed or growth your mindset is. Ano ba ang mindset? Can somebody tell me anong mindset? Can you chat with me on the chat box or unmute yourself? 
what is a mindset? Kanina pa tayo nagma-mindset. Ano ang mindset? Simply, ang mindset is how you think of things. Ilan sa atin ang nagsasabing, nako, hindi ko kaya yan? No? Focus is part of it, Larry. Very good. Focus is part of it. Right? When we are in when we are going to do something, no? Madami sa atin, yes, how you think, Peter, no? How you think. A lot of times when we are about to do something, a lot of us will say, hindi yan para sa akin. Hindi ko alam gawin yan. Hindi ko kaya yan. Magkakamali ako. If you have that kind of mindset, that is a very negative mindset, right? Planning and thinking, all these things that you're sharing, no? Alfredo, the thing you want to be involved in and get positive. Yeah, that's mindset. Sabi ni si Henry Ford, ang founder of corporation, right? Sabi niya, whether or not you know you can do things, you are right. Ibig sabihin, kung tingin mo kaya mo, kung tingin mo hindi mo kaya, tama ka. Right? That is mindset. Thank you for all the things that you're sharing with me now. That is mindset, no? A set of beliefs that shape you, Sarah. Very good. Sky says how you think, feel, and behave. Very good. So, alagaan yung mindset nyo. Your mindset is your thoughts. Remember what I said earlier? Your thoughts determine your future. That is why it's so important to take care of your mindset. What is the proof that every one of us has the potential to learn something. Every one of us, every single one of us was a child one time. And when we were children, we didn't know how to walk, how to talk, how to feed ourselves, how to ride a bike, play an instrument, or swim. Sino sa atin ang nakainom ng tubig nung natutudo tayong luma lumangoy? No? Meron pa siguro sa atin ako natakot dahil muntik malunod. Ilan sa atin ang nadapa nung naglalakad? No? Ilan sa atin ang nahulog, nasugatan, dumugo pa nung nagbabike tayo, nung bata tayo? In every situation, did we stop? We didn't. Because we knew that if we conquered our fear, we would learn something that we would enjoy. And that was all because you wanted to do something. No? Your thought is the owner of the universe. Wow, Peter, that's very profound, no? And Venus, self-perception or belief. Yeah, yeah, mental attitude, definitely very important. So I'm going to give you four steps to grow your mindset. A very simple code here, acts, no? Acts of the apostles. Awareness, choice, talking back and sustaining it. What is the first one? The first one is about recognizing what we are thinking because it's so important. Ang dami sa atin, I might feel, mapapahiya lang ako, hindi ko kaya yan. Maybe, wala akong talent, wala akong skills. Right? Wala pang sinusubukan. Yan na ang sinasabi. Anong mangyayari? Susubukan mo ba? Siyempre hindi. Setbacks might happen. Pwedeng mag-fail. Pero, I want you to remember one thing. If you're going to remember anything from me tonight, I want you all to remember, failure is a redirection. Failure is not the end of your story. Failure is just a redirection, letting you know na meron kayong pwedeng gawin na mababago nyo ang outcome. And therefore, hindi na failure. Okay? It is always a choice. You will have two voices in your head. Minsan, tao pa eh. You know? Magulang mismo natin. Minsan, madami akong kinocoach. Very insecure. Because growing up, mismo mga tao sa paligid nila ang nagsasabi sa kanila, hindi mo yan kaya. That is very difficult. Right? But, pag tumatanda na tayo, we have the responsibility to talk to ourselves and to choose words that give us life. Bakit natin pipiliin ang makakasira? Third, 
we want to talk back to ourselves. No? Ano yung talking back? Nung lumalaki tayo, sabi ng magulang natin, don't you dare talk back to me. Huwag kang sasagot. Anak lang kita. Pero ngayon, you have the responsibility really to talk back to yourself. If you are your, you know, if you are your worst enemy and you are saying to yourself, hindi mo kaya yan, how dare you? Because you are limiting your life. Kung hindi mo kaya yan, hindi mo alam, matuto ka. Paano ka matututo? Magtanong ka. No? Paano, ka, paano kung wala kang pagtatanungan? Magtanong ka kung sino pwede tanungin. There will always be a solution if you want to solve a problem. Finally, sustain the thinking. Hindi pwede na ngayong araw, ngayong buwan, ngayong taon, may growth mindset. Next year, wala na. Because the way we have to live our lives is to keep on improving till the day we die. To touch others and to inspire others, to help others, to be people who support others. Bakit tayo nag-volunteer? Because we want to give our time to worthy causes. We have to sustain the thinking. No? And that will give our life balance. Practice makes permanent. Practice does not make perfect. If what you are practicing is the wrong thing, you are going to be perfect in the wrong thing. So better make sure that what you're practicing is the good thing, is the right thing. Mark, do we still have time? Do I continue? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, ma'am. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay, I we have a few extend. more slides. All right. Yeah, yeah, yes, we, we can extend. Slides. Go ahead, Thank Mark. you. Ahead. So I want to continue the conversation of the growth mindset to resilience. Ano ba ang resilience? When the going gets tough, the tough get going. That is basically resilience, right? Look at these pictures. These are real people. Real people who had very serious adversities. This girl had an accident, kinagat ng shark ang kanyang kaliwang kamay. E professional siya na, na you know, I, I think she was even vying for like a global spot, no, as a surfer. How can you balance on your surfboard with very high waves with one hand? It's very difficult. And yet she kept on going. Look at this guy. This guy was stranded in Alaska for a few weeks. Wala siyang kasama. Naubos na yung pagkain niya. Did he give up? He wrote on the snow, SOS, for the chance that somebody would pass and see it. Nakita siya. Look at this girl. This girl has no hands and yet persevered. Nanalo siya ng handwriting competition. Alam niyo yung ginagawa niya? Iniipit niyo yung pen sa dalawa niyang arms. This is my mom. My mom is a very wonderful, wonderful mother. You know, she's very supportive. Lahat na ng Gusto mo, ang dami-dami kong kaibigan pumupunta sa bahay, calls her mom also. And, you know, my mom had a stroke in 2009. We spent Christmas, we spent the new year in the ICU looking at That yung nangyari sa kanya was something that she could use to inspire others. And that is resilience. Resilience is remembering you are good enough. That everyone can be better. We have to stop comparing ourselves with others because we have our own journey. Atin yan. Individuality is being unique and special. Learning something new every day is our right and we should enjoy that. I hope you're learning something new for me today. We want to initiate ideas and enjoy life itself. We want to nurture body as well as soul. When we are addicts, meron ako mga nako coach na addicts, not just on drugs, you know, a lot of different addictions are out there. And a lot of times they forget to love themselves and to love what 
they have been given by God, right? So once we do that, we want to be able to care about others too. And finally, everyone, expect that some days just won't be great. We will always have pits and valleys, but we celebrate the days that we can enjoy, no? So finally, as I close and as I end, I want everyone to raise their hands. Raise your, raise your right hand nga. Everyone who is on camera, raise your right hand. Can you see it, Arlene? Good, Arlene, good. Mark, no? Raise your hand. Marjorie, very good, good. Okay. I want you to raise your right hand higher. Mas mataas nga, mas mataas. Arlene, good, good. Sharon, excellent. Julio, I see you. Emilio, very good. Wonderful. What happened when I asked you to raise your hand the first time? What did you do? What happened? Chat with me now. What did you do when I asked you to raise your right hand lang? Or you can unmute yourself if you want, if you're not so shy. What happened? Bakit hanggang dun lang? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Sarah. You want to answer? Who wants to answer? A lot of... Sige. Meron ba? Meron ba? Oh, I will just continue. A lot of... Camera, kaya hindi ko makapag-raise tong mataas na kamay. Oo. Oo. Ikaw ba yan, Paul? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oo, no? A lot of times, Paul, ganyan ang sinasabi ng iba. In fact, ang sinasabi ng iba, eh, para po makita nyo lang, hanggang dito lang ako. Some people say, eh, komportable po ako, dito lang. You know, some people will say, eh, ito lang, sabi nyo, raise lang ng hand. Eh, di ito yung raise ng hand. No? Anong nangyari? Nung sinabi ko sa inyo, taasan nyo nga ang raise ng hand nyo, what did happen? What did you do? Tinaas nyo. And it took a little effort. It took effort for you to raise your right hand. What am I saying here? What I'm saying is, a lot of times, when we are asked to do something, we will always go with what is comfortable. No? We will always do what is very easy. But when something or someone asks you to do more, kaya nyo naman eh. Bakit hindi nyo ginagawa yung must pa, unang beses pa lang? Think about that. The growth mindset is our process of approaching the world. When we have this, it opens us to a resilient attitude. Ibig sabihin, when we know that we can learn, Nagpupursigi tayo. Sinusubukan natin ang kailangan. But it has to start with the thinking na kaya natin, na pwede tayong matuto. And that is why, for Christ's sake, no, we delight in weakness, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. Lahat na. Because when we're weak, we're strong. God allowed us to go through the trials because there are lessons in everything we do. And it is only when we have God in our lives that we suddenly find rest. No? So I, I, in, in closing, I am so inspired by all of you who are very involved in this organization. And hopefully, something or a few things of what I have shared will help you in the volunteer work that you are all doing. Thank you so much for your time, for your participation, and for your attention this evening. Thank you, Mark. Okay, that was uh, great. Very powerful words and encouraging stories from our guest and co-host. Okay, guys, uh, we will come you to uh, any questions everybody from the audience or from our participants anyone may mga questions ba kayo uh, mark mark this is not a question but a commendation thank you kai it's very good at
Yes, good evening po. I am here po hearing all these yeah. great testimonies from Sir Mark. Very inspiring talk po. And Miss Kai, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Ayan, ano, may attorney tayo, may, may pari tayo, may pastor tayo. We have also businessman, Mr. Paul Tolentino is the owner before of RCPI. Kung naalala nyo nung araw, yung RCPI is the owner of that uh, company. Nandito siya ngayon, uh, Mr. Yeah. Paul Tolentino. Siya yata po yung sumagot kanina eh. Oh yeah, yeah. That's Sir. Engineer Paul Tolentino. Actually, it was started by my grandfather. My grandfather ah. was um, the one that contacted MacArthur. Wow. During the famous I Shall Return. Nung sinabi ni MacArthur na I Shall Return siya yung nag-morse code kay uh, MacArthur sa Australia. So, you know, I come from a family of heroes. So. Wow! Yeah. Uh, Mark, nababaya mo pala si Andres Bonifacio. Morse code pa panahon na yun. Totoo, Mark, is that, is that part of the history? Your, your grandfather is the one who do the Morse code for the yeah. word I shall return. Oh, yeah, that, 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 he was the one na, na nagsabi kay MacArthur to come back to the Philippines. Oh. And uh, that, that, that radio is uh, displayed in the museum in Iloilo. And that's the history kung bakit nag-start yung RCPI. Because my lolo was the Bureau of Telecoms operator for almost 30, 40 years with the Bureau of Tel Butel. Butel pa nung araw eh. That's the history so yun po yung RCPI. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. O baka may question kayo na agawan na natin. Sorry, sorry po. Sorry kayo na po. Okay. Uh, I think we are already done with our interaction. Uh, wala na Mark? Question. Yes, go ahead. Good evening po. Oh, questions? Okay. Yes, uh, nagpapasalamat. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Eh, nagpapasalamat po ako kila Sir Mark Anthony kanina nung nag-confess siya sa ano, tungkol sa drug addiction niya dati. At ngayon nasa recovery siya. Pareho din kami. Eh, tsaka lalo na kay Ma'am Kai Soriano. Ma'am, napaka-inspiring po yung ano nyo. Uh, naibigay nyo yung lesson sa amin at uh, malaking tulong po kayo dito sa PVID. <clears throat> ma marami, ma marami po kayo matutulungan dito at may inspired. At uh, sana po pagpalain tong piwid natin para marami tayong matulungan na tao. Kagaya ng mga uh, drug victims na yan, sana matulungan natin at malinis yung bayan natin. Opo, opo. Maraming salamat din po. Okay, anyone from the audience? May mga gustong mag uh, ano to share ng kanilang thoughts about our topic. Okay, siguro wala na. Okay, uh, I think uh, we we are already done with our interaction with our guest and co-host to Miss uh, Kai Soriano Santa Cruz and Mr. Mark Anthony Tantonko. It seems that we really learned a lot from them how life is special and everyone is special. Now, let us have a short recap on the things that we have learned from tonight's discussion as what I have learned from our um, guest and co-host tonight. Uh, don't be in control by two things. That's what I've learned. Many people spend their lives under the mercy of circumstances living at the mercy of what happened to them, living at the mercy of other people, not living at the present because they are stuck in the prison of their past. If you want to live a great life, don't allow yourself to be controlled of these things. Okay, there are two things, your past, and others' people's opinions and judgment. Number one, do not allow your past controls your present of your future life. Whatever happened, you must let it go. Leave your pain, your past behind so it cannot ruin your future. Leave the darkness of your past behind so it cannot block the light of your bright future. 
your past is gone. Whatever happened, whether unjust, cruel, harsh, whatever the case, relieving the events will never do you any good. If someone did you wrong, the only way you can win is if you let go and move on. If you live in hate, they win. If you live in the victim story, they win. If you want to win, you must focus on re, uh, building your future and start right now. Release that weight from your back so you can be free. Don't allow events of past which are now gone to ruin this moment which is perfect. This moment which is now to enjoy, which is ready for you to live fully. Number two, do not allow others, people's opinions and ju judgments to control the direction of your life. The need to fit in and feel wanted can cause you to travel down paths you don't want to travel. People pleasing is a curse that should be avoided at all costs. Before we do anything, ask ourselves, am I doing this because I want to do it? or because of my fear of judgment from others if I don't. You were born or created unique for a reason. You were born or created to stand out, to be appreciated and loved for who you are. Don't dim your light so you fit into dull background of other people's lives. Shine bright as you are. Those who really care for you will see the light and shine with you. According to Mahatma Gandhi, he quotes, be the change you wish to see in the world. You have the power within you to create the life you want to live. You have the power to shape the world around you by who you are, being and how you are communicating. The law of attraction, one of the fundamental aspects to living a life by design, explains that everything that is created in the outside world is the result of what takes place eternal, uh, eternally. Being the change you wish to see in this world, the change starts within. Don't be part of the problem, rather be part of the solution. We are the master of our destiny. We can influence the direct control of our own environment. We create our life what we want it to be. If you cannot do great things, do small things in great way. Don't wait. The time will never come perfect. Start where you stand and work with humility and with dignity and pride. Okay, guys, this is the end part of our program in Drug-Free Philippines Movement. I would like to thank our speaker and co-host, Ms. Kai Soriano Santa Cruz and Mark Anthony Tantonko. You are doing great, ma'am and sir. My snappy salute. Thank you for the both of you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking time from your busy schedule to be our uh, guest speaker here in our program, Drug Free Philippines Movement. Your presence and wise words help magnify our cause in the best possible way. Our program is a huge success. All thanks to our enlightening words and inspired so many people out there. Okay, guys, I think you are all fantastic. Thank you for viewing and listening. I am looking forward that you will be sharing all your learnings to others. Have a wonderful evening. Just continue learning every day. This is your host in our program, Drug Free Philippines Movement. Again, I am Mark Kadili, Vice President of PVAID, our People's Volunteer Against Illegal Drugs, is now saying to you, Iwasan ang illegal na droga, panalo ka. Wishing a pleasant evening and God bless. Bye-bye and thank you. Bye-bye. Salamat, Miss Kai. Okay, bye-bye po. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Mark Anthony Tantongo. Thank you. Good night. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.